Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight with a quick energy update just for the next couple of days um, because there's some interesting aspects going on and some quite powerful aspects as well. So um, just starting off, Sunday the 2nd of June, Jupiter now in Gemini is going to trine Pluto. They will be at one degrees of their respective signs. Now, Jupiter is obviously all about expansion, about growth and um, through understanding in Gemini, looking at our beliefs and also what is truth for us. Um, in a trying to Pluto, who is really sort of pushing for our soul growth, for us to transform, for us to evolve um, at a collective level because Pluto is an Aquarius. And um, so this is going to really give us a much bigger picture, a much greater understanding, perhaps give us um, the opportunity to really visualise, sort of bring in a new vision for where it is we have to go, what we have to understand um, to really support our evolution. And um, it is definitely about change because Pluto is the great transformer and also um, potentially purging as well. And because because Pluto needs to take us deep down beneath the surface and look at what no longer serves us, what we are letting go of. And Jupiter is going to expand that. So, you know, this is quite powerful energy um, on its own. But we also have the moon is going to conjunct Chiron on the second as well at 22 degrees of Aries. So Chiron being our deepest wound and um, often giving us the key that we need to unlock our deepest healing or our deepest opportunity for healing. And so with, with the moon here, obviously the moon, this is a monthly transit. So the moon meets up with Chiron once a month. But, um, you know, on the same day as we have this um, Pluto-Jupiter trine, this is really going to perhaps um, make us well, trigger our emotional response and um, potentially, you know, we're going to feel um, much more in tune potentially with suffering, with pain and um, with with our with our wounds. Um, and emotions are going to be running quite high. Now, Aries, obviously, in a fire sign, you know, we could be feeling quite fired up about something. Um, but it's it's the emotion. It's important that we feel the emotion and that we're able to um, identify and recognise what it is, because that gives us the route to and the key to healing. So, you know, this is, um, you know, yeah, we're potentially going to be have our um, emotions heightened at this time. But what is, um, in, well, interesting is that this is happening in an opposition to Arcturus. Arcturus being one of the fixed stars um, that is very linked to emotional healing, to wisdom, to frequency and light and the Arcturians are always there to assist us and guide us and almost hold our hands through times of really deep and profound transition so you know in the opposition they are very much there watching over holding space and sort of sending through positive energy and healing energy and wisdom if we are able to or willing to and um, sort of tune into that so it's a very loving, very supportive fixed star energy to be working with. Um, on Monday, it's going to get even um, more interesting because Mercury is moving into Gemini. So finally in his home sign, feels very confident, very at ease and um, lots of speed. Lots of um, big shifts happening as Mercury moves through Gemini. And um, Gemini, first of all, is going to meet with Sedna, who is in the process very slowly, but very surely, sort of releasing um, information that has almost been frozen in time, hidden within the depths in our subconscious, deep below the surface, is allowing this energy and this new understanding to rise up. And Mercury is right there wanting to get the scoop, Get all the details, all the facts, um, and that sort of deeper understanding. And Mercury is going to move really quickly through Gemini. So, you know, 
um, same day, he will trine with Pluto. So activating that Plutonic energy, um, the great transformer energy yet again. So um, Mars, sorry, Mercury in trine to Pluto is going to want to really dig deep to look way below the surface, behind the curtain, get to the bottom of everything. It's very penetrating energy, needs to have all the facts, wants to know everything. Um, but what is coming through the new understanding is going to potentially have some quite profound effects on our collective transformation. And, um, you know, this again is deep change through new understanding. So we might be possibly getting some dirt kind of dug up, um, which might be quite shocking potentially, but, you know, Pluto also wants to reveal secrets and expose and disclose. So again, you know, this is an interesting day for, um, you know, new information coming to light. And really, um, you know, Mercury in Gemini is going to be really hone in on the details and the facts and make sure, you know, that what is coming to light is is truth. And of course, Jupiter is still very much part of this trine as well. So it's going to expand the information and expand the understanding and really use the information that Mercury now has to really propel us and to help us see the bigger picture and possibly, you know, even change our belief systems. That is a possibility. But, you know, there is a lot going on. Now, Aquila in the Altair, sorry, no, Altair in the Aquila Quiller constellation is also being activated um, in a long term conjunction with Pluto. But as Mercury comes along, as Jupiter comes along, you know, this energy is getting an extra boost. And Aquila Altair is really um, sort of giving us courage to stand up. It's quite strong warrior energy, but um, very sovereign, very powerful, very empowered, and being able to see the bigger picture to rise up. Um, and also helping us with any resistance that we might have. So in this case, it could be resistance to new information, new understanding that's coming up. With Pluto, it's resistance to change. Aquila Altair is really helping us to push through that, to step out, to step beyond our comfort zone, because that is where the growth lies. And on the same day, Monday the 3rd, we have quite a feisty, fiery conjunction with Mars conjunct Eris. Now, Mars, the god of war, conjoining Eris, the goddess of discord and strife. So, you know, this is like taking a match and with all the air in the chart, it's fanning the flame. So, you know, we need to be quite mindful. It's going to be potentially, um, well, feisty. I've said that a few times. Um, yeah, just be mindful of drama and getting carried away with um, the energy that is sort of going on the, in the background because Eris is not one to sort of roll over and stay quiet. She is wants to be heard. She wants to have her voice. She wants to stand up for truth and injustice. And, you know, Mars here is adding energy and fuel and passion and motivation and action to that. So, um, yeah, it's that it's quite a powerful conjunction. But the feeling I get is that it is really important that it comes out um, because Mars has just or will have just met with Chiron a few degrees earlier. So, you know, it, he understands that this is part of our healing journey. And so, you know, this if, if we hold on to the anger and repress it and allow it to sort of be locked in, that's where we can sort of have some quite tricky issues Um because anything that is locked in is allowed then to fester and will create dis-ease. So, you know, this is energy um anger that has to come out. So as long as it's been as long as it is being channeled productively, then that is fine. Um but obviously just to be aware that you know emotions are going to be running high potentially. But again, you know, Arcturus is there in opposition 
supporting Mars and Eris as well as the moon and Chiron the day before with that deeply healing energy, that wisdom. You know, there's light codes here. There's beautiful frequencies coming through. And it's like, you know, this is part of the transition and the transformation. This is part of the process. And um, but it can be um you know, really beautiful if we allow it to be. So again, always looking at that higher expression. And then on Tuesday, um, you know, after quite um, potentially eventful, um, certainly energetic couple of days, we have Venus in his her conjunction with the sun, so Kazemi. So, you know, this is really beautiful and um, it's going to be quite soothing. It's going to soothe our minds potentially, you know, help us um, sort of shine light on our understanding and really remind us what matters most. Um, you know, so really beautiful um, energy, which is probably going to be quite needed, um, you know, as we sort of move through these couple of days. And this Kazemi is opposing the great attractor. So again, you know, we have this beautiful cosmic energy, which is pulling everything away that is no longer serving us, but is also passing through and projecting some really beautiful energies as well. Um, much higher consciousness, beautiful light codes and streams of light that we might really be um, grateful for at this time. So I hope that sort of helps. Um, obviously, these transits are working with us collectively. Um, so there is a lot of noise, there's a lot of hot air around and, um, you know, because of the strong Aries energy as well, adding that sort of fire element and the air is fanning the fire. So, um, yeah, I think it's useful to be aware, to be conscious emotions may be running high and there may be information coming to light that is quite um that that people may struggle to be able to process so you know again that may trigger some deep emotions as well so i will leave it there for now um i'm sure i'll be back there's lots more to talk about I guess the, the thing is, um, you know, be mindful that this energy is strong, but stay in your own lane. Don't allow, you know, the drama and what else is going on outside of you to really um, suck you in. You know, it's important to try and remain present and have that discernment and, you know, stick with what is true for you. Um, and obviously, remain, remember your grounding your deep breathing, all the techniques, you know, that we need um, to keep us stable and present in these sort of quite um, challenging, um, but certainly exciting times as well. Again, it's all about perspective. So, um, but yeah, so there's definitely shifts and changes and transformation in the air and it's what we've been waiting for. And um, so, um, yeah, let's, let's see how it all pans out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.